Welcome back to New Day Northwest. This next segment is one that is close to my heart. I lost both of my parents to cancer. So when I hear about the work being done at the Cancer Vaccine Institute, which is part of UW Medicine, I'm really hopeful for the future. But listen, research takes time and money and generous fundraising programs like the one at Safeway Stores, which help fund the work. Here with an update on the Institute's progress is Dr. Nora Desis, who has established the Institute and she's kind of known as the mother of cancer vaccines. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having me. A 1000%, we're glad that you're sitting on this couch. And I just gotta ask, how did you get into this line of work? Well, when I first came out here to the University of Washington, Fred Hutch Cancer Center, mm -hmm. it was to really study whether the immune system had anything to do with fighting mm -hmm. cancer. And at that time, everyone thought, no, cancer and the immune system didn't communicate. Right. And over the years, as we identified that there are proteins that stimulate the immune system, and cancer patients do have immunity to their protein, those proteins, except it's very low level, mm -hmm. it was an obvious thing to try to develop cancer vaccines to boost that immunity. And this is the thing, I don't think people recognized, when, when you say that, recognize that the, 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 the two together, but they're seeing it now more than ever when they're learning about the COVID vaccine, when they're right. seeing how vaccines and how the, I don't know, the pathway with which vaccines work can help these other illnesses. Right. Um, what is the Cancer Vaccine Institute? How does it work? The Cancer Vaccine Institute is a group of lots of different types of people. We have physicians, we have bench researchers, we have nurses, students, and community members all coming together to try to develop cancer vaccines and clinical trials mm -hmm. to take these vaccines to treatment. Right. You talked a little bit about how they work. Um, I know that people always get kind of nervous when they hear the word vaccine to know if it's safe. But when you're dealing with cancer, these are certain things I would imagine that it is uh, important to to try this out to check and see if these things work right and we're really at a tipping point right now for cancer vaccines because of three things we now understand what type of immune response we need to actually kill cancer mm. the second thing is as i said before we know what is immunogenic in different types of cancers so when you create a vaccine you have to be targeting the immune system to something. Mm -hmm. And finally, we have new vaccine technologies like mRNA and DNA that have been shown to be safe in hundreds of thousands of people. So it really is the time to bring cancer vaccines to the forefront. And all this knowledge that you've collected over these years now finally having an impact, what kind of cancers are we talking about here? The Cancer Vaccine Institute is really taking on the main cancers that are responsible for over half the cancer diagnoses and half the cancer deaths. And those are breast, ovarian, lung, prostate, and colon cancer. And we're also developing vaccines for rare diseases such as sarcoma. Wow, incredible. So I, I know you get asked this a lot, I'm sure, but how long until we can start to see these in action, until these vaccines are available? Well, cancer vaccines have really advanced rapidly. In fact, some of the vaccines that we've developed are now in the hands of companies that are moving these vaccines into um, very large clinical trials. Mm -hmm. I would say, based on our work and the work of others who are developing vaccine, cancer vaccines rapidly, we'll probably have vaccines approved for cancer within the next five to eight years. I. I'm trying to, and, and maybe I, I'm the one who's confused about this, but I, I want to know the difference between a cancer vaccine and then, like, let's say, immunology. Is the cancer vaccine supposed to prevent someone from getting a cancer, like, much like a flu vaccine, or is it once someone already has the cancer? There are actually three ways vaccines are used. The first way is as a treatment. So... Um, we've gone from not knowing whether the immune system has anything to do with cancer to immunotherapy now being approved. Mm -hmm. Some of these monoclonal antibodies called immune checkpoint inhibitors are actually used to treat cancer. 
Many people think that teaming vaccines up with these immune checkpoint inhibitors will make those drugs much more effective. Ah, okay. The second way we use vaccines is to immunize patients who've had cancer to prevent the cancer from coming back. This is the major reason why people end up not having good outcomes is that they recur their disease and then it becomes very difficult to treat. We want to prevent that. But the newest things that we're developing at the Cancer Vaccine Institute are actually vaccines that would prevent cancer. And we'll start using those first in people who are at a high risk mm -hmm. to develop a certain cancer, but don't yet have the disease. I mean, you literally were talking the millions of lives possibly saved with this research. How do you, how do you fund this research? We fund it in many different ways. Um, we get a lot of our funding from the government, the National Cancer Institute, from private foundations, and a lot from philanthropy. Mm -hmm. um, we can get funding from the government for an idea or for a clinical trial, um, but sometimes we can't really get funding to manufacture the vaccines. So we need to get funding from a lot of sources. It really takes a village yeah. to get these vaccines to the clinic. And if there are so many ways to help. And by the way, if you all want to learn more about the life-saving work at UW's Cancer Vaccine Institute, go to the website on your screen. And of course, you can donate to fund that research at your Safeway check stand through March, by the way. So when you're going to buy something, just think about spending a little extra to help fund this incredible life-saving research. All right. Up next, we are going to learn how to support Plymouth Housing with a special fundraiser while also learning a new way to dance. We'll be right back. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Safeway Albertsons. 